right. So, about to puke makes his valiant return to the stream set up against Smooch this time. I think I've got this all set up properly. Hopefully I've got it all set up properly. I'm gonna disappoint the goat. Drago. But anyway, Smooch is going Sephiroth here. So, uh, this matchup, really everything Smooch plays seems kind of rough for DDD, gonna be honest. But uh, we've seen about to puke make some pretty great plays. He works great under pressure, so we're gonna see how this plays out. So, Smooch taking an early lead here. He's going really, really good at this uh, safe aerials with Sephiroth. He's poking out Puke. Puke doesn't really want to use Gorda. It's like one of DDD's big things, and he can't really do it because Sephiroth will just smack it back, right? Like we saw there. Smooch, Smooch is a little bit early with that counter, but he had the right idea. Doesn't matter. He's got that grab on lock. Smooch is uh, one of the best players I know with ceiling stocks, so not going to let Puke set up for much longer. Great minds think alike here, both spot dodging. Alright, Smooch gets that wing, so this is going to be, what was already a pretty hard job for Puke is going to get even harder. Ooh, wow. Pretty Yakta Slash. Smooch is just picking his moves really, really well. Can tell that he is fully aware of all DDD's options and he knows how to deal with them. Smooch is really just swinging at a crazy counter. He 170 something after the hit. It's insane. But um, Smooch is 114 on Sephiroth on his first stock still. Even if he doesn't have the wing, he's still got plenty of setup left. Doing 57 damage with that setup. Really, really good stuff from Smooch. And Puke honestly just looks like he doesn't have an answer and um. Gotta be honest, I don't really know what the answer is. That's gonna kill. That first game lasted like a minute. Very, very good stuff from Smooch. So we're gonna see how Puke responds to that. Yeah, DDD is a very potent character. He's a feast or famine kind of guy. So if he's got Seph on ledge and he gets that dash attack, Seph dies at like 60, but it's a matter of getting him there. That's the problem, especially against a player like Smooch. And yeah, he thinks the same, he's going Game & Watch here. Uh, I do think Game & Watch is a bit better than Seth, but at uh, the same time, uh, Game & Watch kind of struggles with a lot of the same things here. We're going to see how it plays out. Smooch is really playing very similar neutral here. A lot of really patient shield, and he's going for the grabs. He wants that staple damage confirmed, so he's going for a lot of, a lot of the really good non-risky stuff. We're seeing Puke look for that uh, up, or that neutral air, not up air. I think that's what he was thinking. He was thinking, Seth's tall enough, I can hit him. And so we're certainly seeing an even game here uh, compared to game one. Smooch is uh, also swinging big here, but uh, yeah, it's not over till it's over, so. Puke does have the edge right now, and uh, putting up some solid damage. He's holding stage from Smooch. Slowly but surely fight its way back in it. Even if Smooch it felt like Smooch was in the corner for a decent amount of time there, but he's still sensor really, really competitive here. Smooch is holding it fully as well as Puke did. He's uh really ambitious up smash. Smooch's not even gonna bother punishing. He's got that wing now, so this is gonna get a lot harder for Puke. Smooch is faster, he's got an extra jump, and I think I know he has armor on smash attacks, but I'm not sure if his moves kill earlier. I think they're just easier to hit because he's faster. Um, you know, if there is a player that's going to make the most of it, it's going to be Smooch, so. Up here, sealing that stock at 130. Smooch does find himself in the lead. He doesn't even lose the wing, but, um, Duke is certainly doing way better in game one. 101 on Smooch. He finds that kill. Not too much extra credit on Puke. 30%. slow game here. They're really looking for the, a lot of the same things. The Puke is just trying to get something started. He's trying to get that neutral air because Sephiroth is a pretty, pretty big man and he can uh, get some serious punishment if he gets hit by one of those. But Smooch is playing really, really patient. Fully aware that Seth has the tools to keep Game & Watch out. What in the heck are they doing?
Okay, thank you. Alright, so. Okay, now yeah, brief pause. We had some technical difficulties for a lot longer than anyone expected to, but we're seeing a really commanding game here from Smooch. They both like to just play it out, so respect to both of them. Smooch is sitting here, going for his stuff. You know how it is. I'm sorry, I can't. This is not gonna be in the vibe that Smooch wanted to blame the whole technical difficulty thing on me, and he leaned down to the mic and said it's all his fart. I'm just. <laughs> I take nothing seriously. So. <laughs> the Smooch is, um. Yuka is making a really, really good comeback here, actually. He's, uh. Smooch has a really commanding lead. He still does have a pretty solid lead. But, um. He's making it back here. I mean, it's not really too much right now, but it all starts with 1%, you know what I mean? So. Nice parry. Parry going for the up B. Take some stage. Smooch is using a lot of, like, variations of, like. Oh my goodness. And he put a read on the roll in. Really patient gameplay for Smooch. Definitely earned that kill. Is very, very good. Let's find the cursor. Yes, um, on that tablet, or you can come up with me. <laughs> All right. Sign a waiver for dodgeball, and I think they finished their set. Yes. 
so we're gonna update the score and I'm gonna end the recording because we finished the game.